Oh, is this the same one going in? Coming up now, a takeoff you will not want to miss, and a demonstration of manoeuvrability by a large transport aircraft beyond compare, and one that also shows us not just a good sequence of exciting looking air display maneuvers. No, this all has a lot of tactical relevance. Pitching straight into a 70 degree right turn, climbing to about a thousand feet before descending plenty of power from the four Eurocrop International TT400 turboprop engines driving these very, very impressive looking propellers. As with other Airbus products, the manufacturing of the A400M, notes the RAA, as the Atlas is, of course, a multinational effort in itself. All the major assemblies get flown to the Airbus final assembly plant in Seville, in Spain. And the British contribution to the production effort is the outer wing box and the flaps, which are built at the plant at Filton in Bristol. And some 30% of the complete structure of the A400M is made up of composites, which is more than any other large military aeroplane. Yeah, absolutely. It's the line, uh, design philosophy for the tactical environment is what makes this such an exciting aircraft to display. Uh, side stick control coupled with advanced fly-by-wire, a flight envelope protection system giving virtually carefree handling. Unusually for a big aircraft like this, a head-up display enabling the pilots to keep their heads out of the cockpit all the time. As you say, an extensive use of carbon fiber giving the aircraft plus two and a half gear up to 123 degrees angle of height. Sorry, where the aircraft is avoiding 